this clip we're going to calculate a sample mean and a sample variance. The formula for the sample mean is, uh, is shown here. Um, it, the uh, mean is indicated by a bar over the symbol for the random variable and uh, x bar in this case is equal to the sum of all the x's divided by the number of observations. So the mean is the same as the simple average. Then the uh, variance, the sample variance, is calculated in this way. You again work over all observations from 1 through to n. You take the difference between each observation and the sample mean. You square that and you divide the result by n minus 1. So uh, you uh, don't divide through by n when it's a sample, you divide through by n minus 1. Now we have our data set X here, which has in fact lots of observations in it. It's the student uh, height in uh, centimetres thus far recorded. Uh, and I've calculated a frequency distribution for this uh, uh, data set here. So uh, it looks like the data set is centered around 170 centimeters. Let's see if that uh, is uh, uh, reflected in the sample mean. Just type in equals average and then copy down all of the observations, close the brackets and the result is 169.78, so not far away from what uh, you might guess by just looking, by just inspecting the frequency distribution. Now if I uh, change an observation here, let's say I change the first person, I increase their height from 165 centimeters to 200, that increases the sample mean by only by quite a small amount and it's only by quite a small amount because there are many obs other observations uh, which contribute towards the uh, the sample mean the influence of any one observation isn't that great that wouldn't be the same with a small sample in a small sample a single observation is going to have much more weight now let's calculate uh, the variance of the sample and we just type in equals var uh, dot s because it's a sample. That ensures that it divides by n minus 1. So here we go. And just copy down. And the sample variance is 76.5539. Now if I uh, again change an observation to an extreme observation here so I'm invent a very very tall person 250 centimeters tall that increases quite substantially the sample variance that one observation makes quite a big difference that's because it's so extreme what we can also do is work out the sample variance by hand an easier way to do it than applying the formula up here is to uh, use this formula here which is completely equivalent. It gives you exactly the same result. Uh, we can show that with some simple algebra. Uh, what I'm going to do is to calculate uh, the bit inside the brackets first. That's easier when you come to write your Excel formula and the first element of that is the sum of the squares of each of our observations on X and that's quite easy to calculate. I'll open the brackets first uh, and then enter the formula for the calculating the sum of squares. So I just start at the top here, having entered the sum sq function, go down to the bottom, close the brackets, and I've got the result for that, and go back up again. What I'm going to subtract from that is n, the number of observations. Actually, I've just worked out the count of the number of observations. It turns out it's 179. So I'll just use that cell there. Uh, that's the value for n. And I'm going to multiply it by the mean of the observations, which is in cell I4, 169.7. I'm going to raise that to the power 2 and then close my brackets. That means I've now calculated 
all the stuff inside the brackets. I'm then going to divide by the uh, number in the sample less 1, which is the count, minus 1. I'm going to close the brackets, hit return, and I get exactly the same result as I did by applying the, uh, the standard formula far dot s here. So uh, you can calculate uh, the variance by hand. It's not really recommended, especially if you have a large sample.